Greetings, members, one and all of the Salvation Nation. We have another unboxing here from the United States Mint, ordered quite a while ago. And it seems like it has been the case with some of these coin uh, sets that have been released for pre-order quite early, sometimes enrollments for others, and delivered late, late, late. This one has been on delay for quite some time, but it is here. It's interesting how the Mint does things these days. But nonetheless, we're going to take a look at this. The Purple Heart Commemorative Coins. And there we go. Now they have um, included a little different uh, sleeve here for the purple. And that, I think that's pretty cool. Uh, but nonetheless, their packaging has been subpar as of late. And in fact, I could have thought of some better ways to make this outer sleeve. But uh, they have gone on the cheap, the U.S. Mint has. And keeping their prices raised up. And certainly the outer box is just the boilerplate regular box that it comes with every coin they come out with. This regular black box with the uh, with a black embossed logo here for the United States Mint. Uh, very generic, which is unfortunate. Uh, and then here we have the Certificate of Authenticity, which is purple, which is good. Um, and actually that looks pretty nice. It includes some graphics and the like. And it's kind of uh, semi-glossy, but people want to see the coins. And here is the coins. All right, and they are upside down. Looks like here we go. Well, some are upside down, others are not. We're going to take a look at each of them, starting with the clad half dollar. Uh, and uh, there it is, the clad half dollar. Very, very nice. As you can see, it has sort of the silhouette of the missing leg here uh, for the um, for the wounded soldier in this case. And the clad, you can see the cladding there. And the reverse shows, you know, the missing person, you know, that uh, some gave all. All gave some and some gave all. That is the uh, the motto there. And, of course, the Purple Heart is issued to soldiers who have survived but were wounded in battle. And there are several soldiers that have received multiple Purple Hearts, and we thank them for their service. As many of these wounds will rest with them for the rest or be with them for the rest of their lives. So there's the clad half dollar. Yes, indeed. And uh, the Purple Heart series. This is definitely a great um, uh, memory and commemoration of the those who've served. And uh, it's nice to see a commemorative coin program like this out there for sure. The Purple Heart. And now let's take a look at the three nines fine silver dollar which also comes in a colorized version, which I've also ordered and is on even greater delay. We can see here the anniversary 1932 to 2022, not quite a 90 years there we see. A combat wounded and killed in action, Purple Heart. So I guess it does uh, commemorate those who've lost their lives as well too. So I guess the surviving family members will get the, the Purple Heart in honor. There is the reverse showing a, a medic uh, caring for a wounded soldier there. There it is. All right. And there that is the silver dollar. And you know it's amazing because the silver really does stand out as opposed to the clad. Now we've got the Purple Heart $5 gold coin in proof version as well. The Purple Heart and uh, very nice. I think this might be my favorite among the three in terms of its design. Very well done. And you see the, the original was a merit badge from George Washington from 1782. Badge of military merit. And uh, kind of the origins of the Purple Heart. And you can see there is a heart there. And that is kind of the beginnings of it all uh, under George Washington. So there's a lot of history behind this. In the service, but there they all are together. We're going to put them together here, and we can see all of the coins together here. Yes, indeed. All of them there. Now, uh, <clears throat> I'm going to talk a little bit about 
uh, the commemorative coin program, because those of you know that I collect all of the proof commemorative coins dating back to 1982. Yes, indeed. That is the case. From 1982 on back is what I collect. And uh, so therefore, this is a uh, the latest getting me completely up to date with every commemorative coin ever issued by the United States Mint in proof version. That's what I collect. I don't collect the uncirculated version. I have some uncirculated versions of these, but not many at all. And uh, you may remember I did a video showcasing all of the commemorative coins back in 2015. I will post a link to that video in the description of, or in the, not in the description, but the end screen. So stay tuned to the end for that. And, uh, but you know, the thing is when you do collect coins in an, uh, with ongoing coin programs such as this, you know, the same could be said for silver eagle collectors as well. And you know, when you collect silver eagles, is that something that, um, you know, you get, you got to keep it going. You got to keep the set going. Now, obviously that design doesn't change. It's just the dates, maybe the mint marks, but you, uh, you get them. And for this one, the designs do change. There are some programs that you're not that excited about. Some of the designs you may completely loathe. And there are some in this program that I just completely are, think are just ugly as sin. Uh, but nonetheless, you collect them anyway because you've got to keep the collection going. Those ugly coins that are missed out that you're missing in the collection, well, they, that can come back if you don't have them all then well, what is it? And, you, and then you have the question is, how long am I going to keep doing this? So uh, there is that aspect of it too for collecting. But the United States Mint Commemorative Coin Program has certainly evolved over the years. No question about that. And in this case, these coins here are pretty nice and I like them and pleased with them. And uh, I also like the Negro Leagues coins or some of the aspects of those designs, which are great, but there's other programs I did not like. But uh, this completes and gets me completely up to date uh, with the commemorative coins, approved commemorative coins through 2022. So I have them all from 1982 to 2022. That's 40 years, by the way. Um, of collecting. Now, I did not start collecting them back in 1982. Um, I really didn't start collecting them until much later, but that'll be a subject for another another video. But nonetheless, are you collecting commemorative coins? Um, and let me know in the comment section below if you have all of them. Are you collecting the uncirculated or the proof versions? Um, and uh, let me know also in the comment section below if you, um, um, if you, uh, if you like to collect a certain series of coins that will continue in perpetuity, there's no end to them. Like, you know, maybe for instance, it may be the lunar series from the Perth Mint. It could be proof silver eagles. It may be some other coin proof, uh, coin set, proof sets, regular proof sets, clad, silver proof sets. Are getting them every year from, from going back to how long? Uh, and uh, so that's, that's the thing. And, and what are your what are your thoughts about continuing the series? Let me know in the comment section below. And let's take a good close look at each at each this side again for each of these coins. I think they're well done, very well struck, multiple levels of finish. This this silver dollar will have a colorized version. I did order that one as well too, so I'm kind of looking forward to see what that looks like. There's the gold. Very nice. And there's the clad half, all with the purple heart on them. I like that continuity between all three designs. So there you go. Very, very nice. All right. So that wraps up the commemorative coins, the purple heart commemorative coins, three coin proof set. And I like to get them in this packaging when it's available. The men has not been consistent with their packaging in that regard, um, sadly. But uh, it's all right. Um, you take what you can get. And this is an example of I'm me getting what I take or paying for what I, what I take in this case. There you go. Let me know what your thoughts in the comment section are. And I'd like to extend a multitude of gratitude to you all for taking the time to watch and to encourage you to please rate 
share, comment, and subscribe.